What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the King's Court with me, Vincent Miracle, here for Fanthotty.com, GoldenGateSports.com, SatKingsNation.com, and of course, HoundSports.com. Well, HoundSports.com, and of course, SatKingsNation.com. Anyways, guys, what's going on? It's been about two weeks since the last episode. I know I've been kind of slacking on the videos here, but because I have so much coming up and so much that I've been working on, you know, I'm getting the, I'm getting the website, you know, up to where it needs to be, up to its standard that it should be, you know, things like that. So I hope you guys are all paying attention to that and are looking forward to that. I also have, you know, I'm trying to get more and more of the – Hold one second here, guys. I'm trying to set this all up again. There we go. So I'm trying. I'm trying to set the website up the way that you guys would all, you know, like it and things like that. Where I, at least I feel that it'd be up to high standards and, and such. So I'm working a lot on that. I, I've been working for Hound Sports, and we started a brand new podcast called the. It's called the Bounce Podcast. As soon as we get everything all situated, they will be on this King Sport channel. So if you're a subscriber. You know, you will get these episodes right here on YouTube without having to subscribe to the SoundCloud. But if you want the full audio version and you don't want to wait until it comes onto YouTube because it will be up audio only uh, during the podcast wise, you know, Mondays. So we will have it. Yeah, it's on. It's gonna be on Mondays, by the way. And my co-star Alex Horvath, where if you guys saw or heard the very first episode of the Bounce, where I'll leave a link down in the bottom of the description there. You know, he's going to be my new co-host. It's going to be a lot of fun. We cover the entire NBA, both Kings. He lives in the East. I live out in the West. So it's going to be really, really, really fun to see, you know, how we mesh together and how, how it builds up together. And I can't wait, to, you know, for you guys all to, to listen and, and tune in and, and things like that. So that, there's a little bit of that going on. Also, guys, if you guys don't remember the last episode two weeks ago, Excuse me. We are still looking for four more guests to join on the Around the Horn episode. Now, if you guys don't know, and you guys are a little, little bit of a refresher since it has been a little while, the Around the Horn episode is going to be an episode where, you know, it's going to be you, the fans, joining the King's Court. You know, you guys are going to be giving out, I'm going to be giving you guys some questions and some topics to hit on. You guys will each have 30 seconds to answer. Uh, if you guys go over the, I'll stop you at that 30 second mark. You know, you'll have an extra 15 seconds if you go a little bit over, and that's fine. But you don't have to use the complete time. There's that. Uh, you'll be you'll be given a point system. Me and probably probably Alex now that he's my co-host and we get to know each other a little bit more. will be the the judges of points on who gets the points. And you know each round someone will get you know separated. Someone will get cut. Down to one more person in the final round will be a minute each for each person to go off and you know start hitting on certain topics that we give rapid fire wise. Just like the TV show around the horn on ESPN, and then the winner will go home with one of the banners that we've already given away on the show that I heard that you know the person really enjoyed and really liked. So there's that. So if you want to join, go ahead and email me at sknarticles at gmail.com, and we'll for sure get you on. I hope you guys all enjoy it and things like that. So look out for that, guys. And I believe – is that all the house cleaning I need to do? I think so. I mean I really just miss being on the show, guys. This is actually a live show. I haven't done a live show in a while, so look out for live shows. They will be back. Live shows are back, so look out for those. Those are going to be done on Thursdays today, so uh, 5 o'clock. So look out for those every Thursday live show. This is going to turn to only a one-episode-a-day thing since the bounce is going to be on Mondays, and then this show is going to be on Thursdays. Definitely look out for that. I got more, more and more special news coming that I can't yet disclose and, and come out with you guys uh, and come out and tell you guys just yet, but just know – that there is more news coming and more ex very exciting news and things like that. Also, while I have the chance, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. If you're looking for quality clothes at a quality price, check out the quality shop located in downtown Roseville. You know, they'll, they'll set you up real nice and tell them that Vince Miracle set you from the King's Court and they might hook you up with a little bit of a discount. So with that all being said, guys, and, 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 and housekeeping out of the way, as I move my mic here, I hear a little bit of a sound there, but I got a hit on it, and it's the biggest news coming out so far. The Sacramento Kings have announced that they will be retiring Pedro Stoyakovic's number 16 jersey on December 16th when the Kings will be versing against the Oklahoma City Thunder, which also just so happens to be the game that is featured on ESPN. So I, I went out on Twitter. I went out on, on the Kings app and things like that, and I got a bunch of you guys to tell me your favorite Pedro Stoyakovic moment. I'll tell you guys mine in a little bit, but I want, I want to hit on that. That page of topic just a little bit more here, but 
I want to I want to also give you guys a broad spectrum of what we're going to be talking about. The Sacramento Kings also have now come into terms of a deal with Omri Caspi and center Ryan Hollins. So that's another big thing. And lastly, the final topic of the day will be Team USA prevails, and they will be going to the Olympic Cup. You know, that they won the FIBA World Cup already, so they will be going to the Olympics in 2016, and they get, you know, that whole – they don't – they won the trial, so they automatically in. They get a, they get an automatic bid into the Olympics. So let's jump right into it here, guys. So again, like I said, I, I had all of you guys via Twitter. You guys can follow me at VM Center and on the Sacramento Kings app. You know, telling me your favorite Peja Stoyakovich moment, and I I really just want to t tell you mine. Mine is when I, I can't remember the exact game, but and I know he wasn't even on the Kings. That, that that's the thing. He wasn't even on the Kings, but. I know he was on Dallas, but I can't remember who it was against. But he scored nine straight points in like a, less than a minute. Like that's how good he was. And, and and on top of that, a fun fact about you know scoring points in such a short amount of time. Did you guys know that Pedro Stojakovic was the very first player in NBA history to score the first twenty points? For a team, he scored the first 20 points for the Sacramento Kings in, in, a, in a game. I don't know which game it was, but I found that fact out, and I thought that was very, very interesting. So, uh, again, I, I had you guys, you know, tell me certain some of your guys' fun facts, and I read it online. I'm going to read a little bit more later on in the show before I close it because there will be no fan questions on this episode. But let, let me get through a couple of these here. I have Vic Yang yeah, because there's so many. I have Vic Yang. He says, when he crossed up LeBron and made a jumper. I think it was when it was, it was in probably in LeBron's first game, and he kind of like does a little shoulder check, and then backs back out, and then hits that little side pop jumper right there by the free throw line. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. I do remember that. That was a good memory to have. Uh, Christian M Manson says when he made that one three pointer. Ha, funny. And the last one I'll read off before moving on to the next topic because I want to keep this episode kind of condensed and short until next week. Uh, this one is from. For Christian Fasundo, he says, when he passes it half court behind his back. If you guys haven't seen this yet, look this up because I know exactly what he's talking about. There's a play where he steals the ball, Page just steals the ball, and when he's going to receive it because you know, the ball goes out like towards the sidelines, he goes out to go save it, and he literally tosses it behind his back and throws it up the court to a wide open Bobby Jackson. Uh, they are calling it like the Oscar Robinson. I remember Grant Napier and Jerry Reynolds were just going off saying, "Oh, uh, the Big O still lives in Sacramento, and his name is Peja Stojakovic." It, it was just, it was a crazy good pass. I do remember that play. All of you guys, go check that play out if you haven't done it yet. And uh, I'll see what I can do when doing the editing because again, this is a live live episode, and I'm just now reading a lot of these. Uh, I mean, I've read some of them, but I'm reading like most of these off the top. But let me go to Twitter now, actually, and read a couple off Twitter. Uh, favorite moment was when he won the three-point shootout his very first year. Yeah, that was, I mean, he won it twice. You, can, you can't remember that, and that is from at uh, – I'm not – at F-bomb, F-bomb. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so maybe I won't read off these, all of these names here. But anyways, guys, his favorite play was when he won the three-point contest. All right, so on to the next topic here. The Sacramento Kings have come into agreement where they have signed Omri Caspi, which has been expected if you guys have watched the show, and also now Ryan Hollins. Now, Ryan Hollins was just recently reported, I believe, yesterday by Mark Spears of Yahoo Sports that they came into a you know verbal agreement that this was all going to happen, and now it did happen today. And what Ryan Hollins brings, he's just going to be another role player. He's going to be someone off the bench who can you know block some shots with a seven-foot frame you know he's not he's not anything flashy. He's been in the year, the league eight years now, going on nine. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And uh, you know he he's not a big flashy name. What he is is he's going to be a role player. He gets one year fully guaranteed, just like Omri Caspi. So I think the Kings are just really trying to acquire acquire talent and people who have been around just so they can get that experience because Caspi's been around. You know, Hollins has now been around. you got Reggie Evans who's been around, Landry. They're trying to get that veteran feel with this young team, though the most points Hollins has ever scored in an NBA game, or not the most points he's ever, careers points he's ever scored in a game is a 6.1. So look out for that. And finally, last topic, Team USA won. 
They won. Uh, Team USA got the gold in the FIBA World Cup. Cousins looked great, yeah, especially in that last game. In that last game, Cousins was amazing. You know, he was stealing the ball. He was making the passes. Team USA was off to a very, very slow start once again. That was one of the biggest problems. But yet, Cousins came in. It was a complete game changer. You know, did he have the, all the most points? No, they didn't ask him to do that. What they asked him to do was be the defender that he, he hasn't been. They asked him to step his game up in certain ways that he hasn't done it before, and he did so. And so it was very it was very nice to see Rudy Gay had a nice, you know, feeble World Cup stint. It'll be interesting to see what happens now that they've played on Team USA, both the Sacramento Kings players, Rudy Gay and Marcus Cousins, that if when 2016 comes around and you have LeBron back, Blake Griffin back, and all, all these other players, all these other all-stars back in there for training camp for the Olympic team, does Rudy Gay make it? Does DeMarcus Cousins make it? I bet you they get the invite, but do they make the team? I don't know. I think it all really depends on I, – I believe Cousins has the strongest chance of making it, but it all depends on what this season is going to look like for him, you know, stat-wise and his attitude-wise. So I'm very interesting to see, interested in see how, how he's going to progress because I really think that this is going to be the, the year that Cousins either really breaks out and could be an all-star or where – you have seen him reach his peak, where you have seen him reach that line. And, and that's bearing any injuries. We don't want to see him get hurt or anything like that. But if he can stay healthy and he does everything he needs to do correctly and he buys into Malone's system like he buys into Coach K's offense for the Team USA, we're going to be something, seeing something crazy out of this kid. I'm so excited to see him this year, see him play, and – you know, get your guys' take on what you guys, you know, see from him. So leave your guys in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys saw from Team USA, what you liked and disliked about Cousins' game, what you think that he still needs to work on, even though you only saw him for a short, condensed amount of time. But I think what he showed was he can be a leader. He can be a spark both offensively and defensively, and I think that he's ready to buy into both sides of the ball, and he's ready to take over this, this Kings team. So I'm really excited to see that and see how – this connection with Rudy Gay and DeMarcus Cousins plays out into the upcoming season. All right, guys, like I said, this is going to be a very, very short show today. I said in the beginning, this is just our first show back in over two weeks. I want to gather more Kings news, gather more stuff for you, and, you know, just do some house cleaning let you guys know these shows are still going on. These shows are going to be live every Thursday now at 5 p.m., so look out for those. I'll have guests on still, you know, from all over. James Ham, Mark, uh, Mark Spears of Yahoo Sports, Jonathan Santiago, Sam Amico, all these guys. I'm going to try to get them to come back and possibly even more. So look out for that. And I'm going to read off these last few uh, Peja Stoyakovich history moments because I, I had you guys do it, and I really want to read them off. So the next one was from Forever Purple, and he says, that good feet store commercials. Mm. I don't know that one. The Crazy Good says, I remember him running toward the bench when Divog passed it to him. Right when Peja hands right when Peja's hands touch the ball, he throws it up with that with his momentum and his smooth looking shot to bring home the money as the Lakers fans become silent. Mm. I mean he has so many crazy good shots, I mean I don't even know which one you're talking about, but if that's one thing you'll always remember that's awesome. I just remember watching him in Dallas that year they won the championship, and he just went off in one game. I don't even think it was a playoff game. I just remember watching him because I was like, this Dallas team is very, very interesting, and Peja you know, was one of my favorite players back in the day. I used to have his jersey. I think I still do, but I don't know where it is. Anyways, the last one is from Felix Kings 2001 It says, winning the three-point contest. I mean, you're not the only one who said that. I believe that the Twitter guy already said that also. But, I mean, yeah, he won it twice, two consecutive years. The third year, I believe he lost. Uh, but he lost because he won his first year there. Then he won the, ne the following year. Then that third year, I believe he got knocked down, like, the first round. First or second round. Or No, he made, he made it to the final, but he just lost. So, yeah, the bunch of Kings history. If you guys didn't get yours, you know, it was red and I, and I just didn't see it. Leave your favorite in the in the in the comment section below, and I'll definitely read it. Definitely see it there. If you have a question that you guys ever want to get on the show, you can email me at sknarticles at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter at VM Center. You know, I follow you guys back. I'll answer all your fan questions there as well. You know, I have news going all the time. Be sure to check out satkingsnation.com for all your daily Kings news. Again, a shout out to my sponsor, uh, the Quality Shop located in downtown Roseville. If you're looking for quality clothes at a quality price. Go check out the quality shop and say that Vince Miracle sent you and you might get a discount. 
And lastly, again, go to GoldenGateSports, Fansided.com, and HoundSports.com for, again, for, for more articles and, and things like that and different takes on the Sacramento Kings. Again, guys, just a small little episode today. I wanted to let you guys know that the episodes are still coming live every Thursday at 5 p.m. Going to be taking those fan questions, going to bring you more Kings news. I hope you guys are excited for this upcoming season and training camp coming up and all this good stuff. So be on the lookout for that. And, again, until next time, Kings fans, bye-bye.